today on Be Something Wonderful, how letting go of what you love gives you everything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I heard from one of you that said, Tom, I saw your story, uh, your video on the story of Job and this idea of, of manifesting your worst fears. Well, this is what happened to me. And I was with my boyfriend for a few years and we were even living together. But I started getting paranoid. I started getting fearful and worried that, that he was seeing somebody else. And then sure enough, it happened. And, and we broke up, he moved out. And now we haven't been together for three months now. And he's still seeing this other person. And, and I love him, I wanna, I wanna be with him. But I, I don't know what to do now. I, 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 some say that you, should, you, you need to let go. And, and others say that you need to fight for it or, 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 or keep on imagining that you're with them. And I'm just, I'm just not sure what to do. Well guys, we're gonna unpack this today and more. The reason I wanna talk about this today is because this came up also in some coaching sessions, very similar circumstances. And I don't really wanna go over imagining your wish fulfilled and all of those processes because I really wanna hit something much bigger than that, that will lay the groundwork for everything else, right? And here's what I wanna say. It's not about giving up your desire. I've said that before, but I really wanna say it in a different way. It's about not hanging on to it. Do you hear this? It's, it's just that you were hanging on to it. You were trying to hang on to the, to the situation. And that's what, that's what creates the fear, right? Remember, when you love something, that means it's already yours. And that no one can take anything away from you that you love. All right, we talked about that. But if you're fearful, that's not love. We talked about that in yesterday's video. But today, I really wanna hit this idea that your heart's desire, what you love, is yours. And so it's simply moving to that heart space and, and not the fearful space, right? Moving to the heart space where you know it's yours. So it's not about giving up what you desire, rather it's about not hanging on to it. Do you get this idea? You don't have to hang on to something that you love because it's yours, it's coming from deep within you. It's coming from that God space within you and it's yours. So it, what's happening? What's happening is that you're investing all your energy in preventing loss and protecting your heart instead of going all in and following it. Do you hear this, right? That's why you lost him, that's why that happens, right? You were, you were, more, you were really worried about losing him and protecting your heart, not getting hurt. Not, not having what you, what you know that you love, instead of going all in and just loving him, going all in and following your heart, right? Because when you do, you're not gonna, you're not gonna create those circumstances where, where he might be with somebody else. That, that came from within you, right? Put your attention on what you love and magic happens, right? That's what surrender is, right? And so let go of everything that's not connected to you by love. Right? So this does mean let him go. Right? But I don't mean to let go of the desire to be with him. And I'm saying let go, let go of that fearful hold on him. Right? Let him go. Let go of everything that's not connected by love. Right? Because when you, when you really love him, when it's coming from love, there's no chance of losing him or losing anything else. Right? So let's hit this a little bit more. When you focus on what you love, when you follow your heart, you step out of the past and into the field of infinite possibilities, right? You are in the, you are in the past. You are, you are, you are, that's a holding on energy. That's a contracting energy. That's a fearful energy. Holding on is fear. And that fear collapses the wave of infinite possibilities. It keeps you from expanding. It keeps you connected from being connected to that magic, right? So letting go is love. That's where all things are possible. That's where you can create that miracle, right? But you can't create it from fear. Fear collapses the wave of infant possibilities and creates exactly what you're fearful about. Love opens it up. It opens you up to all possibilities, right? The three D mind only knows the past. Your heart is connected to all knowing, 
right? So you really, you, you, when we say we, we need, as I said before, when you say you're loving somebody, but you're really fearing the loss of that person, that's not love. Real love comes from the heart and that connects you to the knowing that what real love is. It connects you to the knowing of infinity, of eternity, right? So all loss is merely allowing things that are not truly connected to you by love to fall away. That's what love, there uh, is no real loss, right? Remember, the, the, we could talk about all, uh, there's an infinite number of possibilities and realities, right? And that reality or that script where your, where your boyfriend left you is a different script or an old reality. But I, but, but I don't want to, we can get there in other videos. There's other videos on that. But what I really want to say is that what you're viewing as loss is really just you're allowing things that are not truly connected to you by love to fall away. There, it wasn't con, he wasn't connected to you by love. He was connected to you by fear. And so you're going to allow that to fall away. Right? And, and when people come back and when things come back in our life, it's because it gets connected by love. That's the connector. Right? What feels like heartbreak, you, you said, I'm heartbroken. I, I'm in heartbreak, right? And I just want you to say, I know, I get that. But I really want you to feel what heartbreak is. Your, th what feels like heartbreak is your heart expanding and asking for more space to be in. That's what's going on. It's your true self, your higher self, saying, let, that, let the loss and the fear fall away and give me more space to be in. That's what heartbreak, it's a rebirth, right? Just like an egg break, when a, when a chicken is born from, from an egg, it, the egg breaks from within, not from without, right? What happens is you, were, you broke the egg on the outside, right? That's what fear does. Instead, rebirth happens when it breaks from the inside and you become more just like your heart space, right? Stop trying to prop up realities or structures that are built on fear, right? You're trying to save that situation. You're trying to prop it up. You're trying to repair it, right? But it's built on fear. Instead, let, in, in lack, instead, let those fall away. Let that old reality fall away. Don't hang, hang on to that old reality because there is a reality where you're together. There is a reality where you're in love without that fear, right? Create space for the impossible and your heart's desire. When you let those old realities crumble and fall away, you create space for the new desire, for the new reality. And so, and I just want to say, when we're feeling fear, when we're feeling unlike love, that's poverty consciousness. Right? And I'm not talking about just money and material wealth. It's much bigger than that. Right? Poverty consciousness is the idea that you need to do something, accomplish something, get something, achieve something, become something other than who you are, already are, or have somebody in your life to complete you, or, need, or, or, or you're so fearful not having them that you're going to lose something of yourself. Right? There's nothing you need to get to do, achieve, or be other than who you really are, other than who you already are, right? It, ke it keeps you bound to the unwanted realities when this poverty consciousness, this idea that you need something outside yourself. It's to the, it keeps you bound to the illusion of lack, right? The belief that there's a purpose to life other than life or love itself is, is a belief that keeps you in poverty consciousness, right? There's no higher purpose than God right? God is all that is. It's love. It's life. It's you. It, you are source. All suffering comes from getting that truth. So yes, you can have all your heart's desires. Remember, you are life. You are love. You are the process. So, but, I, but, but instead of putting your focus on what you don't have or what you're losing, put all your focus on who you are. You are life. The, that there's no higher purpose than God. There's no higher purpose than life itself, than love itself. And then out from that point, then choose who you want to be in your life and what else you want to experience. But don't do it from a poverty consciousness, right? So doing is trying to make something happen, right? You said, what should I do? I've got to do something about this. I don't want to lose him. He's, he, there's nothing to do, right? There's nothing ever to do, but there's always inspired action to take.
Inspired action is about enjoying the unfolding of your wish fulfilled in 3D reality. So once you move back to love and know that you're not missing anything, now you imagine your wish fulfilled and now you move, you're moved by, by that inspired action, which is really about enjoying the unfolding, enjoying your wish fulfilled. It's about allowing the unseen reality within to be expressed without. Because I think you had a question on what I do and what's the difference between taking inspired action and taking action in 3D, right, to get him back. Right? Inspired action, it's about allowing an, the, th the unseen reality within you to be expressed without. Right? It's a joy that the inspired action might, the, your inspired action might just be to have a, have a cup of coffee at a cafe and enjoy the sunshine. That might be the inspired action when some, suddenly you stumble across somebody or, some, or you see somebody, you meet somebody. That's how inspired action works. Right? Your heart knows what you want, your heart's desire. Your heart feels and knows. That's what heart desire, heart's desire means, right? Your heart feels and knows. So your heart's desire is what your heart knows, right? And your heart doesn't know lack, doesn't know heartbreak. That's something we, we create, right? That's just your heart needing more space to be in, right? So it's about having a total commitment to what feels right for you. What feels right is your heart's desire, a total commitment to what feels right for you. It doesn't feel right to be in fear. It doesn't feel right to, to, to try to fix something in 3D or try to chase it, to, to force, it in, force it by will, right? What feels right is your heart's desire and your heart knows. When you follow your heart or that feeling, it creates a bridge to manifestation in 3D reality. That's what the bridge of incidents is re really is about, right? But it's not about the physical bridge, it's about the metaphysical bridge. That's what you create first. You create the mental bridge to all you desire. How? By, by resting in your heart's desire, resting in your wish fulfilled, by coming from a loving place, not a fearful place, right? That's the bridge. So build the metaphysical bridge and the bridge of events in 3D will follow. Allow your heart, that greater power within you to pull you forward or tug you. That's what they mean by when it, we, we use a thing where they pull your heartstrings. That, that means it's something emotional or negative. Well, look at it this way. Look at it as a positive thing. Look at it at when you follow your heart, you're, get, you're getting pulled or tugged by that higher power into the direction of everything you want. That's what I mean by when they pull your heartstrings. It's that divinity. It's that higher power now pulling you towards everything you want or your heart's desire. That's how letting go of what you love gives you everything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called The Ambassadors. It's, uh, it's on Facebook uh, at Be Something Wonderful as well. And um, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Or uh, you can visit our website <laughs> anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love, with great love, great love, great light, and, and infinite gratitude. I'll see you soon. This is Tom.